This is a collection of samples of shoji paper that I received from a place called eshoji.com and uh, the samples were very inexpensive. I think it cost me $1.25 including free shipping. Um, what's in here is, uh, uh, or my samples show what's in their catalog which comes along with the samples. Um, you can see that these colors of paper are not really what they look like. These are representative of really the textures and the, the fact that the colors do vary even though they are much more similar to each other than they look in this catalog. But you can see that the codes are here like C105, needles, <clears throat> glossy cut fibers, cream background. And if you see how they have worked out the uh, types of paper you have to choose from, you see that there is the category Kozo Mulberry and these ones are genuine Kozo uh, series 100% Japanese mulberry with only natural ingredients added. That's why it has such a soft and elegant tone. The paper will brighten as it ages. But then there's also high-tech uh, Kozo with polyester core. And then laminated paper, which has a durable PVC laminated shoji paper. And then uh, uh, other types. Here's more laminated paper to get to the waterproof shoji materials and waterproof shoji materials on the other page too. So those are the groupings that are in this catalog and here is more information if you need it. And I'll call it up here nice and big. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you how they differ in these groups. I put them into groups based on how they felt and also some of the textural or quality, uh, um, the thickness qualities that they have. So in the very first group, these are very, very thin. So I'm going to scoot everything else over so you can see through them a bit. Have all these out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so the first ones are more of the uh, traditional paper and they're very thin to touch. They're super soft and, and delicate and you can see through them pretty well. So I'll put a, a pen here that you can see through to see what the amount of uh, translucency is for each of these. You can see through some of them better than others. And, uh, and this one is a much more even tone of paper. It has hardly any texture, some texture in it, but it's very, very minimal in comparison to the one next to it, which is very heavy in texture. But these are super thin, much too thin for making a folded paper lamp from those. And then we have another set here which are called the washable ones here, washable series. That means that they have been coated with the material that allows it to be rinsed off and allowed to get wet without damaging the paper, which also means it probably doesn't take other kinds of media very well. I could test it out with paint, etc. But you can see it also has a transparency or translucency, sorry, about it with each of these. And a kind of overall pattern, you can see a bamboo pattern here. That's why this one's called KD68 Bamboo. This is Cloud Dragon, which you see repeated in other types of, uh, of qualities of the paper, too. Okay, the next one is what they call the High Tech series here. And they are also infused with something, but they have a texture that makes them feel like paper, which the washable ones do not. The washable ones have a very slick, smooth surface. But these ones are laminated so that they have some kind of uh, strengthening material in them. They, they are pretty tough tough to move. and It doesn't list what their thickness is, but we'll do a comparison between these and the next size up, which is the 0.2 millimeter thickness. So this one has that quality of snappiness to it. And then the 0.2 gets significantly tougher feeling. It also has a, a, a quality of uh, some kind of woven-like feeling to this paper. And you can see it also has a a higher level of transparency now. You can see almost through that entirely if it's up against the pen. It diffuses the pen as I lift it. Okay, and other color tones, but still you can see through them, even though this is 0.2 millimeters thick. You can see the quality of their transparency or translucency. In fact, the one that I picked up right here is the bamboo pattern that you saw in the other sample. If you were to choose all of, through any of these, the most neutral, it's the laminated paper white plane, is C52. 
Okay, and those are in 0.2 millimeters thick. And I'm just going to keep uh, this one out as a, as a comparison because we have 0.3 millimeters now, which is very much like, like cardstock, except it's snappier because it feels like it, because it has the uh, thicker layer of coating on it. It's very, very tough material, as you can hear it. And it comes in this variety of uh, patterns. So there's, there's the uh, white silk pattern and um, some heavy textures and the transparency or translucent aspect. Some of it looks a little bit more transparent than others. Translucency wise, this one's pretty even. Some of the fi fibers. So if you like the look of fibers or you like the look of a color tone paper, there is variety in this group. This group is very well suited for doing a lamp too. This one is Cloud Dragon, um, but on the scale of this being as small as it is, it's a pretty even um, sort of lightness, and we'll compare that to the one called Plain White that's 0.2 millimeters. So if we were to compare the two for thickness, we get this difference. Much stiffer. Okay, and then the last group, there's only three of them, these are 0.45 millimeters thick, and they have a, a very even one called Plain, and then the Cloud Dragon version, and Laminated or Waterfall, which is nearly transparent in parts of it. But let's look at the thickness of this one. This is a very, very tough material. Uh, probably hard to make um, bend really extremely, but it certainly does have the ability to be curved over it and return back to where it was originally. So that's a vast change from this stuff, which is the traditional paper, which is really, really thin and delicate. And you can see I curved it just by, by creasing it a little bit with my fingers. Again, this all came from eshoji.com.